just came out. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2, everyone. Woo! As you can tell by the title of the video, we are leaving for some holiday Starbucks right now. I'm so excited. We got to look through everyone's recommendations, Max, and pick which ones we're going to do. This is going to be such a fun video. It's actually the afternoon. Guys, this is going to be a mess because... It's like 4.30, which like, where is the day gone? And we're finally going, so I'm scared the lighting is gonna be like, like it's sunset right now for this video. So we may have to bring them back here to try them, but welcome Vlogmas Day 2. If you're new, subscribe down below, and let's go to Starbucks. Ah uh, yes, everyone, sunset. <laughs> it's either gonna be really good lighting, like right now it's really good lighting, or it's gonna be way too dark by the time we get there. We shall see. Literally, where did the day go? I thought this would be a fun like afternoon pick-me-up moment trying all of these. But now we're like, are we gonna be up all night because the day has disappeared from us? I don't know. Do you think you're gonna be up all night? No, you could fully drink a venti like nitro cold brew. I don't even know, the most caffeinated thing and you'd be asleep like five minutes later. Mm -hmm. yeah, like much. caffeine doesn't affect you. I'll probably be up all night. Oh. This is some cute golden hour lighting so far, wouldn't you say? I mean, I guess it's kind of getting dark, but I wanted to mention you guys. Thank you so much, Casetify, for sponsoring this video. This is so perfect because I'm about to read through all the questions, not all the questions on my phone, all the recommendations that you guys gave me for the Starbucks holiday drinks. You gave me all your favorite ones. Oh my gosh, there's so many to look through we have to like pick which ones we want but i always get a million questions about this phone case from case by in specific you guys this is just one of the custom ones i've made and you can do this with like a bunch of your photos i tried to make it kind of look like my instagram feed so this was so much fun and this is actually the impact case if you guys didn't know i have the 11 pro max iPhone case 11 max pro whatever that one is um, but I know that the new iPhone came out the iPhone 12 so they actually have cases for the iPhone 12 already which is so nice so if you have the iPhone 12 no excuse for not getting a case you need a case if I case like immediately don't be like me who didn't get one right as she dropped right she dropped one right is I got my 11 when it came out last year because I dropped it literally the day after I got it and the back is smashed you guys know So I can't do a drop test but with the impact case in specific which this one is it protects your phone up to drops of over six feet And it has military grade drop protection, which is just amazing I am making my mom and my sister get them because they both shatter their phones and I'm like hello people It's 2020 you shouldn't be shattering your phones anymore if you have the case to buy phone cases Which are just so amazing and again the impact one in specific is the only one I can have because I'm so clumsy and it just has the little lip on the front like your phone will not crack in this so it's just my favorite and I grabbed a couple to show you guys they have so many collaborations with artists and designers this one is just really pretty I feel like I had it in the spring a lot and it just has a bunch of different colors and my friend Caitlin got it too so it makes me think of her and then this one is just like really floral that one's fun all of these are impact and then you can customize them with your name your initials everything like that so this says GLB I was gonna put this one on right now which is why I brought this one actually but the back of my phone is shattered so it might look kind of funny and I actually just ordered some new ones on case five which I wish I could show you guys but they're coming in now so I'll show you coming soon and then this one also customized with my name oh my gosh this one's like dirty from what I had on my phone but it's just my name in cursive so my number one most asked question from you guys is what is my case to buy code so if you go to casetify.com slash Gretchen, it will automatically apply apply the 20% off discount because you guys always ask, it's always casetify.com slash Gretchen for 20% off. I would so recommend you guys. Now it could be a great time, especially for the holidays. Get one of these as a gift for like one of your family members, especially if they have the new iPhone 12. Like you know that they have cases for that phone already. And like I said, my mom and my sister need one immediately because the front of their phone, both of their phones are shattered. So. Yes, thank you so much Keys 5 for working with me on this video because you guys know I'm literally your biggest fan and I'm on my phone all day long so it's like a must have and if you are one of the million questions I get about this case, customize on Keys 5. And now I'm going to pick out all of our holiday drinks. I can't believe it's fully dark out right now. 
wow the sun went down so quick finally at the starbucks and i decided to mobile order everything because they were kind of like complicated orders here so i was like we're not if we went through the drive-thru we would just like struggle saying the whole order you know and then it was like switching the pumps of cer certain things so we are just waiting to go in i cannot believe how freaking dark it got so quick you guys like it's literally the afternoon but it's nighttime i don't know i'm confused and we waited a bit because we figured it would take them a moment to get the uh, drinks together we got five so maybe they'll be done here they are you guys we got five different ones and we were just saying you know what this is good that we're getting them kind of like late because then whichever we don't finish we can save for the morning mm -hmm. <sighs> yum wait we got two hot ones mm -hmm. are you sure i think they just made one of them hot because i think i ordered four cold ones and then um the peppermint mocha oh yeah the peppermint mocha was iced are you sure yeah that's just ground day peppermint. <laughs> you literally said we should make the peppermint mocha ice. And I was like, no, no, no. Or no, hot. And I'm like, no, no, no. She specifically said ice. No, I didn't. No, she said specific. Oh, yeah. She specifically said ice. So then I left it ice, but I guess it's hot. So we have two hots and three cold. Okay, you guys. We are home and in better lighting. Back with Brody Man, who is in his favorite spot. The top of the couch cushion. <laughs> so you might see him roaming around. Can they see you? <laughs> Chewing his alpaca. So we have our five drinks laid out in front of us right here. First one, because we cheated and we're having sips of this mm -hmm. one in the car. This is a grande iced eggnog latte with two pumps chai and one of you actually said that you work at starbucks and the eggnog chai latte is like everyone that works there their favorite and also disclaimer i i think i messed up some of you some of your orders were not specific it, it was hot or not actually most of them didn't say if they were hot or iced mm -hmm. so yeah we took the liberty to of guessing making it our own. except that one like i said <clears throat> my friend jules the peppermint mocha was clearly iced like she said iced and i was sure that i ordered it iced and then i looked at the receipt and i ordered it hot <laughs> and it was with the cold foam on the hot thing which probably is so weird makes it yeah. like obviously i would have got whipped cream if it was like a hot drink mm -hmm. they were making it and we're probably like what the heck so that's what happens when you order five at once but this one you want to try first and tell us what you think oh sure first. well i know we drank a little in the car but tell them your reaction max doesn't like this one no i do like it i don't think i like regular eggnog oh but this is okay but this is really eggnoggy mm. like it wouldn't be your first choice they all just taste like creamy and like sweet to me. what's all like eggnog no like all these types of drinks yeah like all, all the, the junk yeah in it. yeah they're just all very sweet like they all just have pumps mm -hmm. of syrup and because max's normal order that he drinks every day is like like iced coffee with almond milk like basically i'm trying to say like the basics yeah. and sometimes you do the cinnamon or like the splenda mm -hmm. or whatever but very simple yeah simple so all the flavor shots you're just like whoa it's yeah. like kind of like melted ice cream but it is good yeah how i describe this is like kind of gross but kind of good <laughs> <laughs> like when I was drinking in the car, I was like, I'm so confused because I taste the eggnog and I think to me the eggnog and the chai don't really go together. Yeah. I don't know. But you would think they would because you know how on eggnog you put like nutmeg, that spice? You uh, don't like nutmeg. Maybe that's uh, why you don't like eggnog. Maybe. Because I made those pumpkin cinnamon rolls and they had a bunch of nutmeg and you were like, you did ew. Way too much. Nutmeg, yeah, I did so, way too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tasted like a nutmeg roll. Yeah. So yeah, this. I'm shocked that this is everyone's favorite that works at Starbucks. Well, I don't think it was everyone's favorite. Just that she one said girl. it's literally every single. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Yeah, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't order that. This one will be good because this is one of their featured holiday drinks, I believe. Oh the no, caramel brulee. Yeah, and I did almond milk and all the ones. Well, all of them because I don't know. I just thought mm. the dairy might hurt my stomach. So this is just caramel brulee, almond milk, hot. No, this hot? isn't with almond milk. I don't yeah, think. it is. Oh, yeah, you're right. So you couldn't even tell. 
feel like in the beginning of us dating, you tried to be like, oh, almond milk isn't as good. But like, you can't even tell. Yeah, that's good. I'm I feel happy. like when I get the hot drinks at Starbucks, I always get them like fancy. Like I don't ever get like a hot milk Oh no, you coffee. don't. You were the one that introduced me to a peppermint mocha, a hot peppermint mocha mm -hmm. last, like a year ago, like last November, December. And I was like, on my stories, like, guys, have you ever had a peppermint mocha? Like, this is the best thing I ever drink. And everyone's like, yes, Gretchen, where have you been? Mm -hmm. Wait, this is so good. That is good. I like that. So why does it taste so good? It just, is it just a bunch of pumps of caramel brulee? I like, I feel like that. I don't understand how they make these most of the time. Like, is this coffee? Is this espresso? I don't know. Who knows? Well, probably someone knows. <laughs> But I don't know what a brulee Comes is. Down. I need like I need someone to comment well, down below like a general explanation. But then I know like the lattes and the espresso. But then there's like the the pumps and the shots and it's all confusing. Oh, okay. Like like this one I thought I was gonna love because I love chai. Like I feel like anything chai mm. I like. But I think the egg the mod throws me off. So the chai is just like pumps of chai. Okay, no one cares. I'm just confused. But whatever. But this is good. Know that. That is good. Caramel brulee pot. And it doesn't really taste like. It just tastes like hot chocolate, kind of. It doesn't really taste like coffee, do anything. Yeah, no. Or do you taste like espresso in there? Mm-mm. That's what I mean. I feel like they just all taste really Just like sweet. sweet and yummy. Yeah. Okay, this, did you try this one? No. This one you I didn't try like. any of the hot ones. Okay, this is the one I messed up and it was specifically supposed to be ice, but this is, this one's specific. This is the one I was looking forward to. Yes, grande peppermint mocha, but it's a white peppermint mocha because you do no mocha and you do white mocha pumps instead of normal mocha. So I feel like we're not gonna be able to tell the difference really, I don't think. And then the peppermint syrup. And then <laughs> there's vanilla sweet cream cold foam on the hot. Mm-hmm, cause it was supposed to be ice. Cold, yeah. <laughs> on the hot peppermint. So the vanilla sweet cream cold foam I'm sure is melted at this point in here with almond milk. This one is definitely the craziest, yeah. like longest order. Cause you have to take away the, the mm -hmm. one syrup, add the other. <laughs> it tastes like peppermint Banana mocha one. that you get, except not as good, probably because there's no whipped cream. You just got sad that you didn't give it to me. Took another. You were like, uh. <laughs> like the one that you get is better. I, I don't think I like the white peppermint. I think I like, or no, the white mocha. I think I like normal mocha better. Mm, I feel like it tastes very similar. Oh, I think I'm missing the whipped cream because I got mm -hmm. cold foam that is probably not cold in there yeah you can't it like definitely melted in there hmm. oh and i think they did the chocolate shavings but i think Maybe. those melted too that's good too i like the one that you get better yeah i think i just like the traditional i gotta try it cold i wonder if I it would be it better iced yeah i bet it would hmm. okay maybe we'll try that ice coming tomorrow. soon this will be later in vlogmas what's this like grande ice cinnamon dolce latte mm-hmm with almond milk and whipped cream. There was whipped cream, but it kind of melted. melted. Cinnamon dulce, I think, is the one that people said tastes like. Is it dulce or dolce? Mm -hmm. That was dolce. I don't know. Dulce and cabana. No, it's dolce and cabana. That's why I think I said dulce. <laughs> <laughs> I think I say cinnamon dulce. Dolce. Ah! You said dulce, but I think it's Guys, dolce, which one is it? like dolce Maybe it's like cabana. caramel and caramel. Like it can be either. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. People said this one tastes like a cinnamon roll. Mm, maybe, a little bit. Mm. Now I feel like I can't taste it anymore. Like when I snuck a sip of this one earlier, obviously, I think it tasted like mm -hmm. a cinnamon roll. But now I feel like all my taste buds are just overwhelmed because I just had those other drinks. Yeah. This just tastes like water at this point. No, they all kind of taste the it's same. Like, <laughs> this is going down like water. It feels mm -hmm. like it's like the consistency of water. Probably because they're like melting. Okay, last one. This one's also specific. Grande iced chestnut praline latte. I'm assuming. Two pumps vanilla, two pumps chestnut praline syrup. I've never even heard of oh, no. chestnut praline. Am I saying it right? Praline. Just now. Praline. <laughs> 
Have you heard of it? This is good. I like this flavor. I saw a lot of chestnut pralines in there. Really? You guys they love the get this? <laughs> and so, like, peppermint everything. Like, people have all their huh. fancy, you know, like the cold brew, add the peppermint or whatever. But I wanted to do the fancy ones, obviously, for this video. Yeah. But mm. I feel like do you, you guys get like... this, like, year round? Is this available year round? I don't think so. How do you drink this every day? No way. This is probably like your, your Sunday order. Yeah. Or Sunday. Sunday. Sat. Sunday. Okay. Your Sunday order. Your Sunday. Sunday. Do you hear Frody? He's drinking with us. He felt left out. I like that one. Oh, this is the coldest one of them all. Maybe that one was Had the most ice. ice. Do you hear Frody drinking? Yeah, I don't think I like this one as much as the other one. I think they're not as sweet. I think they're both these two are watered down because they're like melting, and so I can't even really taste them. And they're like infused with whipped cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now I'm excited for all the leftover to drink tomorrow morning because yes. they're still gonna be. No, good. they were good. Thank you for your suggestions. What's your favorite? Um, probably the peppermint mocha one. Nothing. Or the uh, the caramel brulee one, the hot one. Oh yeah. Which is yeah. uncharacteristic of me. I, I don't really like hot coffee, but those are like fun hot drinks. I think I agree with you. The hot ones for the holiday. Mm -hmm. Which you know what makes sense? Cause, well, I guess it depends on where you live. If you're like in California or Florida, whatever. But like for most people, if it's like cooler, then you want like a hot something or another. I get iced coffee year round. Oh. I think a lot of people are like that. Well, yeah, but like for a special holiday treat. holiday season, I think these are your You get your, your peppermint mocha. I mix Max's peppermint mocha, just hot normal. I think you get whipped cream. Oh, yeah. All the stops. And it's just like so sweet and yummy. So good. I think the hot ones are my favorite, too. Battery's dying, of course. Wouldn't be my vlog. Battery wasn't dying. But thank you guys for being with us while we try our holiday drinks. I think I'm gonna keep this vlog going a little bit so okay. it's a little longer because we're about to have a fun night. And this was like sort of a fail since it's so late, but I was telling Max this is ideal mm. if we're like mm. hopped up on caffeine all night because, because we tell them. The new Fortnite season just came out. No, Max! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because we found a new show called Undoing. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I'm sure you guys all already know. Well, probably. We yeah, we didn't find it. It's. It's been. We're about five weeks behind. Yes. <laughs> like everyone's been talking about it on like Instagram stories. So you guys are probably done with it already. Don't freaking tell me what happens because this will probably go up before we finish. So no one tell me. But it's so good. We're obsessed, and we only watched two or three episodes. So we need to like have a marathon and watch all night long. And so it's good that we're all caffeinated up so we can stay up late and watch our show because we're obsessed. You are just so good. And we didn't bring him because we're all too How big is he? A He's so big. He can't hear me say puppuccino. He knows what that is. But we'll bring him later and Vlogmas and he'll get one. Because we. <laughs> <laughs> He's kissing He's like, me. You. Yeah. Oh. Hi, baby. Because I know you guys like when Oh, he oh look at this stretch. Oh, my God. Oh, and I have packages to open for you guys. We're just having a fun evening vlog tonight. Oh, the mm. tail hey, in my baby. face. Did you miss us? Oh my Ooh. god. We're about to eat dinner, you guys, now. And I love having this fire. It's like a 10 hour loop on YouTube, on the TV, since we don't have a fireplace. Isn't it so cozy? Guys, can I be honest? It's so late right now. It's like a mess. Do you see everything going on in the apartment? We're just keeping it real in vlog mess. You know, you're really cozy and I've been very unproductive when your sweatpants look like this. You know, when the bungee part comes up. Does that happen to anyone else? I don't know, but like I don't really mind. Like I don't really fix it. It's too late. I can't believe I let this happen. Basically, if you really want to know the tea where I've been, crying watching YouTube videos basically because I watched oh our TV's like resetting if you see because we keep having our power issues and like the um breakers Max how do you call it the breaker the breaker what like Trip. turns off trip Trip. tripped Trip. <laughs> happens every day to at least one of them if not a couple the other day we had like and we think it's like the Christmas lights like we have a lot of lights, but like you should be able to. Oh my gosh, that scared me on the TV. Turn on. Like you should be able to have. Oh, modern families on. 
No. Like you should be able to have a lot of lights on, right? Like it's not like I have the blender going all day and my hair dryer and you know what I mean? So we're, it's just like frustrating. Wait, why was I even saying that? Oh, because the TV was resetting. Oh, I was I'm like all over the place right now. I was crying on YouTube because you guys know my friend Jessica Stockstill and she, it's so funny because my mind she's still Jessica Howell but she got married this summer to Brent and if you guys remember we were in Curacao almost a year ago right now, a little over a year ago and I just remember it was the first time I met her and we were like on a trip together and I remember her being like, oh my gosh, I'm ready for babies like yesterday, like I'm so excited to be a mom and she posted her pregnancy announcement, like she posted a video that talking about being pregnant and then showing her finding out and then telling Brent and I was just crying. It was like the cutest thing and so special. So I was like messaging with her and like, yeah, I don't know. So that's basically what I was doing. And then I got into a TikTok hole, which happens to me. Max, won't you admit, I go into a TikTok hole once every like three months, yeah. right? Like I have not been on TikTok in so long and I know, like I know myself and I know if I go in there, I'll scroll through the For You page for like an hour. So that just happened to happen this evening, which I wasn't expecting, but I just wanted to go in there. I always laugh so hard. Like I just find the funniest TikToks and they're just so relatable. Like you know how the For You page is really like for you or to like remind me of my friends. So whenever I do that, I text like 10 of my friends. I'm like, oh my God, this is so you or whatever. So that's what I've been up to. But it's so bad you guys because does anyone else let packages pile up? Is it just me? Like this is the situation right now. I really hope you can't see any of our like shipping labels or address. I'm just trying to show quick. But we have like packages everywhere. And they're all mine and I need to open them. Some of them, I went really freaking crazy on Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping. Actually, no, it was just Cyber Monday because I posted on my story. I felt so behind. I didn't really do Black Friday or anything. And then Cyber Monday at midnight, of course, I decided and I like had to do all the shopping. So I was like rushing because I felt like the sales were going to end. But I feel like a lot of them were kind of like Cyber Week, like during this whole week. And some of that stuff already started coming. I like blacked out because it was just like late at night. And I was on my computer and I did all the shopping my heart ever desired. So yeah, that was kind of crazy, but I guess that will be coming. <laughs> That'll be fun to show you guys all the stuff I got in the upcoming vlogs. But the fun thing about Vlogmas too is like, I wanted to show you guys opening all these packages, but I'm literally about to take off my makeup and go to bed. Oh, take off my makeup, watch as much as we can of the undoing, cause I can't believe we didn't even watch it yet. And then go to bed. Um, but yeah, the fun thing about all of this is that I get to show you opening all of this tomorrow. You know, like we'll just back to our regu regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. One thing I will show you I opened though because I couldn't wait. This is the C.O. Bigelow. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Favorite night balm. Just like a lip balm. Basically, if you guys know, my favorite person to follow and now friend. Like Max, I'm honestly so blessed I can call him a friend. I used to just be like a creepy stalker like fan, but now we're like friends. <laughs> if he watches this, he's gonna laugh. Arvin Olano, you guys know I love him so much. He's literally my favorite. But I was telling Max today, it's kind of like dangerous that I follow him on Instagram because every single, like actually I drop everything. Every single time he posts a swipe up link on his story, I swipe up and like immediately buy it because I trust his judgment and his like opinions more than anything. So this is his favorite lip balm and of course I had to buy it. Bless you Brody. <laughs> He's been sneezing. Are your allergies acting up? If you guys remember that video I talked about. Or do you just want my lip balm? <laughs> Why have you been sneezing? But then we heard in his training that some dogs sneeze and it's like a happy sneeze, right Max? Like a happy thing, so I don't really know, but yeah. Updates to come on this, I used it once. It made my lips very moisturized and glossy, just how he said, mm -hmm. so yeah. Okay guys, so you can literally see what I'm talking about and you know I'm not crazy. Do you see how all the lights just went out? I wish they had that like moment, like the action of it just happening, because I just took Brody out to the bathroom and came back in, and you can hear the breaker like switch off, like in the fuse box. It's right here in our room, if you guys have seen it. So, well, you can't see because like the door is in the way, but I literally know every day, we haven't memorized which one it is. And then here, when I turn it back on, I'll show you what happens. Immediately. <laughs> like, what are we doing? I think we have people coming to look at it, but I don't really know. Like, I know we have a lot of lights going on, but isn't that like okay? Wasn't someone commenting about like, those long like extension cords and they need to be grounded or something we got a comment like something like that but 
that's not the case because everything is just plugged into the outlet, right? Like we don't have any extensions or like, what are those called, like splitters? Um, surge protectors. Like we don't have the thing that plugs into the outlet that has like 10 outlets on it. Like we don't even have that because we have a bunch of outlets, so I don't really know what's going on. Keep you updated, I suppose. Um, yeah, what do you think's happening? Are you turning off all the lights? Also, why are you sneezing? You know what I was thinking, Max? This might be completely wrong. I wonder if it's something in the grass he's like sensitive to, because obviously his face is like sniffing around in the grass. Like I wonder if that's what makes his nose itch or something. I don't know. But like he doesn't do it for a while. It's not like he does it all day long, you know? Like right now he's fine. But then just once in a while he'll sneeze like a couple of times. <laughs> he is so clingy, you guys. He like follows me around all day. Or Max too, like I know he will, like I'll go in like our bedroom if we're out here and like a minute later I'll hear He'll just follow right after me. You are such a lover. Such a cuddle bug. The paw. Oh. I'm not indecent for all you wondering. I'm right here. <laughs> I, I didn't say you were. <laughs> Look at who's in my spot, you guys. Oh, also, I've had makeup on this whole vlog, so they probably couldn't even tell. But I had this big people. What did we keep saying about it? We were like saying something about it. I just have not had like, this is like not relatable. I've not had a breakout in so long. Like ninth grade me who is really struggling with acne wants to like punch me in the face right now because <laughs> I had it way worse before. But it's just, for me personally, it's just weird because I finally have found clean skin after all these years. Like clear skin is what I mean. And I just literally have not had a breakout or like a big pimple in a while. And then I just know I was just eating junk and not working out that much in the past week. Like literally eating so much like candy and cookies and just like stuff like that. And I could immediately tell on my face all of a sudden I was like getting breakouts. And I had a really big pimple right here. If you can tell it's like going away. But yeah, that's just what I notice right now. But yeah, feel free to be like Gretchen buzz off because it could be way worse go watch my videos from 2012 2013 and i would like paint my face for like two hours i gotta show you pictures max or videos because oh, you don't I even see. know you have i feel like i haven't even before. showed you so i feel like there's barely any evidence because i would just cover it up like crazy but yeah so you know what this is reminding me that it could be a lot worse and my one pimple builds character huh Okay, all ready for bed. We are going to watch The Undoing, fall asleep. Brody is going to take up my whole side of the bed. Are you getting nibbly? <laughs> he always bites my whoop. He bites you? Oh, he does. I think he thinks it's like a toy or something. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for watching this vlog. Vlog miss day two, baby. We gotta try more holiday drinks. Like, we'll just do it like sporadically throughout the vlogs because I feel like today was like a fail having them so late and they were like melted and whatever. So we'll keep doing that. Realizing I didn't do a question of the day in here, already failing. It's vlogmas day two, I know, but there's just been a lot going on. So since I remembered that I didn't do one, we're just gonna insert it right here. And the question of the day for today, vlogmas day two, is going to be, what is a holiday tradition that you have in your family? Because I know there are some really fun ones that like my friends, families do, stuff like that. And for us, all I can really think of, actually a couple things, but on Christmas Eve, we would always watch Elf as a family. Like Christmas Eve, you always have to watch Elf. And then Christmas Day in the morning, I mean, I'm sure this is very like normal, but we would just make the biggest brunch with like biscuits and eggs and jelly and bacon and sausage and I don't know all sorts of stuff like danishes like it was just like really fun and then we'd have I think our big dinner wasn't on Christmas day it was on Christmas Eve we we're very like food family so yeah that's like what we did for our family what 
are some holiday traditions that you guys have. And I'm happy I'm remembering at the end of this vlog, we are doing, this is from one of you guys in the comments, and a couple ones I saw similar, you guys really like to spill the tea, and I like that this rhymes. Now it's time for GLB Spills the Tea. If you don't know who GLB is, you should. But <laughs> that was my original username on YouTube. It was Gretchen Loves Beauty, so literally everyone and their mother called me GLB. Like, people to this day call me GLB. And honestly, less than they used to, but if you were just like, oh my gosh, GLB, I would still, like, I wouldn't even think twice about it. I'd be like, yeah, like, I'm GLB. So, GLB spills the tea. I saw one of your questions on my last video, and that's how I can answer your question in the next video. If you comment down below a question, you can even say, like, hashtag GLB spills the tea and ask your question or just ask it, because I will look before the end of my next video and answer question but i saw the question of how do i do my hair and i did my hair the same yesterday as i did today so it's just loose curls they kind of fall out as the day goes on but i like that even more and it gets really loose and i've talked about this a couple times but i have the cheapest curling iron i could find actually it happened when i was visiting max when we were long distance and i was like oh my gosh i need a curling iron for like when i come here and i like didn't bring one with me and i'm like this will be good to just have one to keep with him so it'll be like my curling iron when i visit him because i was visiting all the time you know so i was like i'm just gonna find the cheapest one at target it was $15, $20, $18, somewhere in there. Like, literally the cheapest one. It's this blue Remington one. I will link it down below. It takes me five minutes. I literally just do big se sections, kind of wrap it around, and I get these loose curls. So, there you have it, folks. Doesn't need to be fancy or anything crazy. And, like, half of me really wants to try the Dyson Airwrap, and then I'm like, okay, I love doing my hair like this. And it was, like, a tenth of the price or whatever. So, yeah. I think that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.